What's your name? And Mary Alice. Mary Alice, and your name? Mike. Mike. So uh, tell me, it's it's a nice, cold New Hampshire morning. What what about Pete uh, drives you here? My best friend lives in South Bend, and she's been telling me for several years now to look out for Pete. That Pete was the real deal. Mm-hmm. That and I laughed it off at first and then I started to listen to him mm-hmm. and I believe she's right that he is the real deal and he has lots of good things to say so we wanted to come and hear him in person too. And uh, what does she say about South Bend that, that he did that was uh, makes him qualified for president? Um, I think he's had a lot, he's run up against a lot of opposition in South Bend and I think the fact that he's hung in there and done the best he could has his been a hallmark of what he's done in South Bend. Um, Everyone that I've talked to there seems to be very happy with him having been mayor. So, Um, uh, Have you you heard from, uh, because obviously there's been some uh, issues with uh, the black community in South Bend? That's an issue. Yeah, and I think that's going to be a nationwide Uh, issue. I don't know how he's going to fix that. I I don't know, but yes, that is an issue. Mm -hmm. So um, I think he says the right things. I think it's probably hard to do the right things at this point, just being a candidate, but I don't know how he's going to fix that. What do you think about, um, you know, health care is the top issue, according to the polls? Mm -hmm. I'm going to be honest, he's been a little slippery. Mm -hmm. A year ago, he was for Medicare for All, now he's for all who choose it. What are your thoughts on that? He's not the only candidate who's slippery. I think that's part of being a politician. And what about you, sir? You said uh, you're more of an Amy Klobuchar person? Yeah. Uh, Why Amy over I Pete? I think she has a lot of the uh, good points that uh, Pete has, but she also has a lot more experience. Mm-hmm. And I thought her closing speech at the uh, debate the other night, I said that, to me, that's the Democratic Party. Mm. And um, it, it looks like uh, Pete has is kind of talking about turning this page and this kind of business. Um, I, I went to South Bend, Indiana, uh, and reported there. And... Um, I'm going to be honest, it's, it's, it's fairly a tale of two cities. It's, it's, it was redeveloped in a few blocks, but the yep. rest of the city is struggling. Uh, what, what do you the th- story of American cities. Right. I, I, I come from Fitchburg, and uh, I don't, it must be very challenging to be a mayor of a city in this mm. time. And uh, what do you think in terms of uh, Pete or Amy up against Trump? Do you think either of them would have uh, a, a chance against Trump? A chance. But it's tough to go up against any incumbent. And uh, he's raised a big war chest, so we'll see what happens. Thank you. you. Enjoy. Dean. Dean. Uh, Cold New Hampshire morning. What's uh, bringing you out for Pete? Obviously, he's gotten a bump since Iowa. We're very excited about his campaign. It's a message of uh, positivity and unity. And uh, just like everything about Pete, very what, excited. What, uh, what are some of the things he did in South Bend uh, that you think are positive? Well, he has a great campaign going. He really had a lot of people out on the ground and spoke to everybody, rural people in rural communities, people in the city, and he really got the vote from a wide swath of people. Anything he did as mayor of South Bend that stands out to you? Yeah, he brought a dying community back to life, and uh, that's why I like him. What do you mean back to life? Well, the community um, just has uh, has been revitalized under Pete's mayorship. Okay. Because I've been there. It's uh, a couple blocks uh, he redeveloped, but uh, the rest of the city is still struggling. So yeah. that's why... People seem pretty happy with what he's done there. I've seen a lot of people interviewed from South Bend. Um, mostly white people or African Americans? Uh, both. He actually has a lot of African American support from what I've seen. Okay. Mm-hmm. What about you, sir? Just to reiterate everything. Ditto. Yeah. <laughs> happy, happy wife is a happy life. Have a good day. You look just excited. <laughs> just want to hear him. Okay. Still considering other candidates? Uh, still considering other okay. candidates. What's your uh, top issue that you're looking at right now? Um, electability. Mm-hmm. It's like a word that gets thrown around. Everybody has a different definition, Even right? To beat Trump. Um, do you think? Obviously, they banged up on Pete in the debate about, you know, Mm -hmm. experience, this kind of thing. Uh, I went to South Bend, Indiana. Mm -hmm. You know, obviously he's talking about unity, but uh, South Bend isn't exactly, you know, a roaring economy. Uh, Any accomplishments he's done uh, that kind of stand out to you that he would be uh, good to go up against Trump? Uh, I think his education, uh, his his way, his, oh, how do I want to put it? His ability to speak, to think. He's very likable. Um, I think his fact that he's a veteran, uh, where Trump wasn't, um, I think would be a 
good start for him. Well, Trump, you know, had the flat feet. Oh, well, well, the flat foot or the <laughs> the hangnail or whatever he had. Right. You know, um, so I just think he's he's there's potential there. Mm -hmm. I just think he'll be able to if he doesn't know something uh, that there's other people that he would look to, whereas Trump does not. You know, it's interesting to me. Uh, I, I don't mean this uh, to push back, but I, I, I ask people. Most people don't know what he actually has done in South Bend. It, it's all about what he's saying now. Mm -hmm. Do you know anything he's done in South Bend? Nope. Mm -hmm. And that's why I'm here. Got it. Mm -hmm. Got it. Uh, what do you think, uh, Trump? You know, the economy uh, had good numbers this week, Accor according to, you know, the stock market and this and that. The past 10 years, you know, so that started when Obama started to change things. Mm -hmm. So it's not just what Trump has done. Right. And it's not Trump that does anything. It's really all of the, the businesses that do more stuff, not what Trump does. Mm -hmm. So. And um, when you look at right now, it looks like kind of the Bernie wing of the party versus this muddled Biden, whoever wins of the moderates. Uh, do you think... You know, in Iowa, more young people actually came out this time around uh, than 2008. Do you, do you, is that a promising uh, development for you? More young people come out, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, and I just think the, the votes would go, would probably be distributed everywhere. So, probably except Trump. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good night. Have a good day. Anybody want to chat about why they're here for Pete? Well, just to see him, I guess. Okay. No, you still shopping? Yes. Okay. Yes. How many, how many candidates you heard from? Well, I've heard from uh, one yesterday, and uh, we've watched all the debates, of course. So one yesterday, and uh, today we'll we'll check out three. Okay. And uh, tomorrow oh, you're checking we'll out go three. to another one. Serious about your shopping. Um, what did you think of the debate? Pete got, you know, kind of ganged up on well, a little bit. Uh, yeah, a little bit, but you expect that. You know, if you did well in Iowa, and you expect the front runner is going to be a, be a target. So, mm -hmm. uh, and he was. What'd so I think it's a good sign. I also what? think it's a good sign that there are two Trump trucks here instead yeah. of just one. <laughs> means you're doing something right. That's right. What'd yeah. you think about uh, after Iowa? He went out there and declared victory when there was no results reported. Did you you think that was a little premature? Or? No, I, I don't know. It's 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 a political season, you know. Mm. Yeah, I think that's fine. <laughs> and um, what what did he do in South Bend as mayor? What's the big accomplishment that you think uh, shows he could do a lot as president? Well. It's hard to tell there. Uh, I think I'm probably looking at what I've seen so far in his debate performances, where uh, I mean, he has a military background, which, which uh, I think shows he's got some discipline. I think he's going to have to deal a little bit with uh, you know, his minority issue. But clearly, he's been, he's been beaten on that a few times. He's going to have to have an answer for that one. What do you think? Because I went to South Bend, and I'm just being honest, based on the black residents I spoke to, uh, they painted a really bad picture uh, of corruption, yeah, that, uh, yeah. corruption, yeah, him, him disregarding their community. Does that, that, I mean, obviously New Hampshire is mostly white, but does that give you concern? Sure. Yeah, I think it does. I think it certainly speaks to his electability. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, without you know, solving that one in some way, I think that's going to certainly be a negative for him. We'll have to see how the rest of the primaries go also. See how he does here. And uh, and uh, next one is, uh, is next one South Carolina or, in, or Nevada. Nevada? Nevada. All right, we'll see how he does in those two. What do you think of, um, you know, obviously he's kind of uses these phrases like turn the page and unity. Uh, obviously, uh, Bernie pointed out, you know, he's is taking a lot of money from the same old, same old. Do you think that kind of is a disconnect between what he's saying versus who he's taking money from? Well, I think when he's talking about the, the, the same old, he may be thinking that he's a new face. You know, as opposed to uh, you know where he's getting his donations from. You know, it's uh, I mean, it's a it's a money game. You know, you you need it to play. You know, so I, I don't know as I it bothers me as much. Mm -hmm. But uh, he is young. You know, it's uh, and and I think I think that's what that that's how what I took him to mean when he said that. Okay. Yeah. Thanks, sir. All right. Thank Enjoy. You. Look at this. Well, I've come to. Okay. What do you uh, What do you think of uh, the mayor? Obviously, he had a good performance in Iowa. Well, uh, I'm hopeful. 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 What about him? Do you uh, like? Um, I'm just here to see what he has to say. Mm -hmm. I, I'm I'm on the fence. I'm new, I'm neutral right now. Okay. Um, obviously, the media. Well, he has been you know framing turn the page and kind of a a new Washington. Kind of uh, a lot of themes that. Uh, President Obama had when he first ran. Uh, do you like that message? Yes. Pretty succinct. What, what about what about you, ma'am? Well, we're here because somebody's going to get extra credit in oh. her social studies class because Sweet. she snagged a sign. And um, I'm a longtime Democrat, um, but. I'm kind of shopping around for a candidate. I want the party to move left in a political culture that tilts right. I agree on that. What are your thoughts on um, 
uh, his uh, his time as South Bend mayor. Uh, what do you think he did there that says a lot to you about what he could do as president? Um, well, to be perfectly honest, it's a pretty scant record, pretty short term. Um, so we'll see. I think he always gives good answers. I think he's obviously smart and articulate, but he's pretty slim on experience. Mm -hmm. I said that about another guy a few years ago, so, you know, I'm not always right. Um, what's interesting to me about him is uh, during the camp, during the debates in particular, he's been talking about turning the page, you know? He gives great answers. He gives terrific answers, um, but, you know, we'll see. Right. And uh, uh, do, you, do you have any um, issues, you know, Bernie brought up the whole, you know, you're taking money from the same usual suspects, but all then talking right. about being a, a fresh face? It, they're they're all just clawing at one another right now, so I don't put a lot of stock in in that. Bernie's terrific. Bernie's been out there fighting the good fight for a long time, and Bernie's been, you know, way ahead on health care, dental care, workers' rights for everything for a long, long time. I don't ding Bernie. Mm -hmm. What um what about uh, electability beyond New Hampshire? Obviously, he's having some troubles with the minority community uh, in terms of votes. Do you know who's the most electable? Uh, everybody's got a different definition of electability, you know? It's like this phrase out there. I mean, according to the polls, either Biden or Bernie. Uh, B Biden's doing the best among African Americans, but Bernie's uh, moving up there as well. Well, I, I don't, you know, if you play the electability game, do you give short shrift to a serious policy debate? Well, I'm just saying right now he's polling among, you know, yeah. two or three percent in that community. We'll see. I mean, voters of color are tremendously important and need to have a voice to help set the agenda. Mm -hmm. So whoever can hear them. What's your name? Mary Doherty. Thanks, Mary. Appreciate it. Good, good extra credit. Status quo on YouTube. What brought you out this morning to see Pete? Um, yeah, so my mom and I come to a lot of primaries. We're both from Massachusetts. We come to the New Hampshire one every time there is one because we, we want to see all the candidates before people start dropping out. Okay. I got, fa I got family by you too. We're political tourists. <laughs> tourists. That's uh, what we're termed. What, um, all right, so you're kind of considering all the candidates right now? Uh, yes, we, we just view, yes, goes to as many rallies and events as we can, both both parties. Got it. We've always done that. Ah. Not that I, I mean, I'm a registered Democrat, but it's, it's an education thing. Mm -hmm. um, and, um, you know, I think people don't pay enough attention to our political system and our democracy. Mm. So it's great to bring him up. Since he was eight, he's been coming up. Wow. Um, and my, mom's, my mom's trying to get me to watch Real Housewives. You're, <laughs> you're, you're educating. Love it. So it's a lot of fun. It is a lot of fun. And where else can you get as close to the candidates? As you can here. I mean, you know, as the first, so all the candidates are running. You know, mm -hmm. by the time they get to Massachusetts, it's winnowed down. Yeah. But, um, and, you, you know, you bump into them at uh, the diner or uh, we saw Chris Christie at a pizza place once. You just, you can't see that every place. What, so. do you, uh, what do you think about Pete? He obviously has outperformed expectations so far. Uh, he has. I mean, I'm keeping my mind open. I don't have a strong preference at the moment. I lean more moderate than, okay. than uh, progressive. But, but, uh, but the, I mean, right now, to me, the important thing is who can win mm. and stop this. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, with Pete, it seems to be honest, um, it's a little light on actual policy it's a lot of talk of well, you know, you know the issue unity and turn the page and all this stuff the, i mean the issue with him is you know he's the mayor of south bend right i mean what's the population in nashua do you know i think it's about the same or bigger yeah. than south bend <laughs> i know so you know and uh, two term was he yeah. so you know that's that's an issue yeah um but uh and you know there's issues with all of them i mean bernie I love Bernie. He's a great. Just listening to him, he's great, and he's, you know, he's been saying the same stuff for, you know, long time. a long time, um, and he's got the young vote. Um, but you know, is the country ready for, you know, a democratic socialist? I don't know, you know. So. No. <laughs> no. No. According to the polls, I think you're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I think po winning an election and then being an effective president are two different things. And I think Bernie is uh, like, he's a great candidate, 
but I don't know how effectively he'd be able to um, run the country. And especially, I mean, it definitely is going to depend on how we do in the, the in the Senate and the House. Um, I'd honestly almost rather. I mean, this is this is something my mom and I were actually talking about yesterday. Is I'd almost rather win the, the House and the Senate and lose the presidential election than win the presidential election and then lose the the Senate again. And then, I mean, if, even if we kept the House, it would just it wouldn't do anything. Right. You know. But no, 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 because you'd have, to, you'd have to deal with Mitch McConnell, you know. Right. Uh, um, so, thanks, guys. Yes. Have a good one. All right, let's. Uh, in terms of policy, it's more how he sounds. It, it, there is a lot about how he sounds um, and confidence. You see him hopefully debating Trump and just. But isn't that kind of what we did with Trump? You know? How he's, I mean, obviously he sounded much different, but... He out everybody. This, this man is doing it with civility and respect and what I think is a real, his own vision, which is somewhat limited in experience, but um, he also will pick up, he will get people that are maybe Republicans, Democrats, or whatever to, to help him. You're a McCain... You're a McCain guy, so what she's saying is Pete could get somebody like you. Well, yeah, no, so she was a McCain guy, too, oh. just so we're clear, right? She was, yeah, so, look, I, and, and I'm also now a registered independent, right? And I will never vote for Donald Trump. This guy, Pete, we'll see. I think he's a little smarmy, quite frankly. I, I do, too. Smarmy. Uh, I'm, I'm, if I had my druthers, Klobuchar, right? I like her. She's bringing everyone together. Like, she's right down the middle. Right. You know what's you know what I find weird? The media hasn't really reported what he's done in South Bend. A lot he of it hasn't done anything in South Bend, right? I mean, I, I love Joanne, but like what what is there to talk about what he's done? I don't know. I mean I've been there. It's it's pretty much like any other city, a lot of gentrification downtown and leaving the rest of the city kinda Well look, but you don't know what he's done because he hasn't talked about it. We have no idea what he's done. No, I've known, I have been there. You've been, right? Yeah. But he doesn't talk about it. Like I have no idea. What are his accomplishments? Is that a failure of the media? No, probably not. I mean, I assume, well, you tell me. To nail him big time on the last debate. Has he that been talking woman. about it? Right. We know what he hasn't done, right? We know what he hasn't done right around drugs. Really what I hear is a lot of, like, carefully poll-tested phrases. Turn the page. Right. You know. That's not about what he's done as mayor, right? Yeah. So I... I so I guess a McCain guy, we're not, we're not considering the Bernie is wing? Not, no. No. Okay. no. Why is that? Um, you know, you know, McCain and him worked on a bill together, and that's great. I would always want to work with everyone, right? But the truth of the matter is, I think Bernie and Elizabeth Warren are, in some ways, the left-wing versions of Trump. Like they are, like we're going to fight it out. We're going to fight it out. We're, especially Elizabeth Warren, right? Like everything is a combat. I don't want everything to be combat, right? Like I, I want you to bring people together, and we're going to find some middle ground and move together, move ahead, like incrementally, right? Well, you know what's interesting. Every politician I've ever covered, it's all the same talk. We got to bring people together, end the divide, and none of, and and that's not reality. Uh, so I just I would respectfully disagree. Elizabeth Warren's rhetoric is not about unification. No, I'm saying in general, in general, Pete Buttigieg isn't the first person to say let's bring people together. Of course not. But 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 I would I would highlight Elizabeth Warren as someone who talks more about confrontation in her rhetoric than about unification. But I'll even point you to there was a great. Back, it was like last year, she was on Colbert and she's wearing this purple blazer. And Colbert says to her, Oh, is this about sort of unity and bringing people together? She's like, Absolutely not. And it was like, Here's a layup, just say it, let's go together, let's do this together. No, fuck them, excuse me, but yeah. But it sounds to me, to be honest, you're more enamored by him almost like you'd want to hear him give a lecture because he speaks so well, not, not that he could. What else can we judge by? Accomplishment. A, but we should, right? We should. We, we should. But uh, there isn't someone else. I mean, I've listened to what Amy's done and sounds impressive and so forth. Yeah, maybe it's um, a hope more than anything. It's a vision that he has that I like. Any trouble? Any any concern? I mean, he's he, he, no. He, he's he's on, on polling. I mean, you gotta you gotta attract the black vote to. I win know, the president. No, and that that is scary, and we will see. Um, 
but nobody thought he'd do anywhere near as well in Iowa, and he did, and we'll see about New Hampshire, and they, they sort of domino, we'll see. It may be that he can't make it past South Carolina and Nevada. I don't know, I know he's been there, but I don't know how, what inroads he's made or whatever. Thank you, appreciate it, thank you, yeah. appreciate it. Status quo, check us out on YouTube. I will do that. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed that last video. Hop on over to statuscoup.com where you can sign up for our email list and become a member for as low as five to ten dollars a month. Membership is how we grow. That's statuscoup.com slash join. And remember, join our email list so we can grow the revolution with you.